Hi and welcome to this Blueberry Markets video update with me, John Kibler, Head Currency Analyst. In this video, we're going to take a look at the RSI indicator and how you can use it in your trading. So there's two ways that I really like to use this indicator. So first of all, I'm just going to delete it off the uh, chart just so I can show you how to apply the chart, apply it on the chart. So if we just go into insert indicators, go down into oscillators, you'll see relative strength index. If we click on that, I have all this set up already. So I use the period seven, apply to the close, and then I've just done my own style through there. So when I click OK, I have um, the RSI indicator, the relative strength index. Uh, I have the levels 70 and 30. Now what these typically mean is if the price usually goes above 70 or the RSI goes above 70, we call this an overbought situation. And typically what we look for is potential shorts off the back of that. Or if the market goes into or below the 30 level, we call this oversold, okay? And typically we'd be looking for, for buys off the back of that. But there's really two really cool ways to use an RSI indicator. And one of my favorite ways is using it on a weekly time frame. Really, really uh, good tool to use. So if I just spot a few areas where we say, you know, the market has come into uh, the overbought condition or oversold condition and then what's happened next. So what I like to do on the weekly is look for areas of support and resistance and then areas on the RSI. So we can see down here, for instance, the market goes into an oversold condition at supporting areas. Okay, so it goes in quite early, but when we get to that support level, this is where we take notice of it on that weekly scale okay then we can look at the potential trends in the back of that now we actually took two longs in this move through here um you can see in the videos a while ago we talked about dollar cad hitting targets and both of these rallied up into the previous structure lows uh, and the rsi was in that over sold condition where we'd be looking for buyers now if we look at the situation we have now the market is going into that oversold condition again we're at key support so we just need to wait to see how price reacts so in yesterday's video on dollar cad we talked about the four hour change in cyclicity and we're still waiting for that but again i'll show you how the rsi could be something to watch for in that move as well again if we look at the sort of highs we can see the market goes into an overbought condition we get a really nice bearish bit of price action in there the market trends down since that point again we're going to oversold conditions look what happens here at support market changes trend we see some upside again in that over sold condition market at support market moves higher so we can use this on a weekly scale um, quite accurately so when price does hit those key supporting points and we do see that price uh, the rsi indicator going into oversold and overbought conditions on the weekly time frame they react really really well okay and that's what one of the, my favorite ways of using the RSI indicator is also what alerted me to looking at dollar CAD going into this week because we're at key support, we're in that oversold condition. Now, another cool way we can use it is by looking at divergence, okay? And we have a couple of examples just in this window here. Now, divergence is when price is doing one thing and the RSI is doing the other. So if price is making a uh, uptrend, higher highs, okay? Typically, the RSI should follow that, okay? So what you would see on the RSI indicator is the same, okay? So we can see that uh, here, for instance, the market makes a higher high, and so does the RSI indicator with this move here, okay? Now, divergence is when the price is doing one thing and the RSI is doing the opposite. So typically, if we're looking at this and the market's making higher highs, so if we go to another one, but the RSI is making a lower high, then this is what we call divergence in the markets, okay? And we would be looking to actually uh, short off the back of that move. And there's a great example just up in here of that in particular. So if I just grab the trend line tool, we can actually see these two peaks here on this higher high. When price approaches this resistance level through here at 1.3340, okay? This is an area where we said, you know, the market typically could reverse from this point. 
but the market is trending okay we're getting higher highs and higher lows until this point here okay so the market makes a higher high but the rsi makes a lower high this could be a sign that the bullish trend is about to reverse and then what do we see after that a bearish trend okay again very close to it the market then trends to the downside towards this key supporting level we're getting lower lows and lower highs now what happens here at support is the fact that we're getting consecutive lower lows but we're getting higher lows on the rsi indicator showing us again that there's divergence between price and the indicator typically then we'd be looking for long opportunities from this low okay again coming back into this level of support what do we have well price is actually making slight lower lows through here let me just actually zoom in so you can see that a little bit better you can see price is slightly making lower lows okay how is the indicator faring well it's making higher lows so again another reason why we could be seeing dollar cad in particular bottoming out at this area and potentially forming a reversal setup okay so that's how you can use the RSI in your trading. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll speak to you soon.